wa utawala A very good morning wherever you are. I hope you are well and Kirk Franklin says that yes we want a revolution. I want a revolution. Do you want a revolution wherever you are? My name is Jacqueline Lopan and the program is Mdahalo wa Utawala. I want to take this particular moment to ask you in a very special way to this particular program. Remember we said that uh, for the last two days, plus today, plus Tuesday, those are four sessions we are having special Mdahalo program, courtesy of Kenya Human Rights Commission in conjunction with the Trocare. And the question that today we are deliberating upon is the budget. The last two days we've been looking at why devolution, what is the essence of devolution, have we benefited from devolution. So today, if you have a devolution, then uh, we say that uh, money follows functions. And if we want devolution to work, if we want ECD to work, if we want health to work, if we want agriculture to work, if we want rural roads, those feeder roads to work, then there must, there must be money that follows that. Well, my dear, this program can never be complete without you. I want you to hear your voice. My studio live number is 0731889185. Somebody's already calling me. Hallelujah. <laughs> 0731889185. Talk to me on our SMS platform, which is 22669. Or talk to me on our well, mini Facebook page. And the question that I'm asking that is, do we or have you ever taken part in your county budgeting process? Have you ever? We do budget every day. Okay, I 20 bob. Na mze. Si badu na budget. Watu badu atakula. <laughs> we budget on a daily basis. So it's something we do. But the question is, do we add that game to the county level? Do we sit and we prioritize what we want done and how much we want money to go to that uh, activity? Development is one thing we want at the county level. Are we part of it? Well, without much ado, my dear, let me ask you our guest in the studio this morning. Uh, I'll start with mom. Mama Bariasubui. Mzuri. Watu nataka kujua jakiwa mamu kuna kwa studio ni nani, anaitua nani, ametoka wapi? Mimi naitua Mary Wangari Kameri. Mm-hmm. Natoka dinner ya Kiambu, St. Peter and Paul Parish, mm-hmm. Kiambu. Mm-hmm. E, na mimi ni mwana Justice and Peace. Mm-hmm. Karibu sana mamu. Na nikiwambia mama metoka hapo hapo anasema mi niko hapo hapo tu hapo hapo kwa hivyo ni mama angu pale kanisani Karibu sana mama And we also have somebody here I will let him introduce himself Good morning sir Morning to you, how are you I'm Jackie? Good. It's a long time <laughs> Long time but we are privileged and honored to have you Let us hear you once more Oh yes, mm-hmm. Taita Zoirate is my name mm-hmm. I am still coming from heaven only that I am residing in Nairobi for the time being mm-hmm. I am a member of the diocesan uh, mm-hmm. pastoral council, mm-hmm. that is the diocese of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. And uh, I am here representing the Catholic Justice and Peace Commission mm-hmm. in the Archdiocese of Nairobi mm-hmm. in conjunction with Kenya Human Rights Commission mm-hmm. to educate our people on the county budget process. Mm-hmm. And it's a great privilege, it's an honor being with you. Asante sana. And as usual, we ask our uh, listeners to just dial to their friends mm-hmm. so that together we can move mm. so that together we can do something beautiful for God. That is true. Right. Remember we do our budgeting every day. So my question is when we do the budgeting at uh, home level, have you ever thought of upping that game at the county? Have you ever sat? Or is it the timing that when they call for the budgeting uh, process then you're not able? Let me just hear your thoughts around this. 0731889185 Mom Nikuja kwanza, nataka kwanza na mamu, unajua kianza na mamu baraka zinakuja tele. <laughs> what is a budget? Mamu, budget ni nini? <laughs> <laughs> so, budget is an estimate mm-hmm. of income and expenditure mm-hmm. for a set period of time. Mm-hmm. It is also known as financial plan or forecasts, mm-hmm. accounts, statements, and whatever else you may like to call it. Mm -hmm. It is an allocation. You allow whatever you want to use. Mm -hmm. You earmark. You designate and set aside Mm -hmm. all what is necessary for what you have set aside or what you have designated. Mm -hmm. If that is what we do, Titus, uh, are 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 we part of the budgeting process? It is important to ask ourselves that question. Because as mom has just put it, mm-hmm. it's a way we organize our resources. 
is the way um, and we have got several examples uh, it's nothing so new just like you have asked the listeners uh, there is personal budget there is a way you allocate your own money in a family setup there is a way you have your family or what other people call a house budget that is the way you allocate the money the resources mm -hmm. take an example in the year 2014 or 2015 which is coming mm -hmm. as a family we sit down and we see one of us is going to be admitted to form one another one will be admitted to the university we still need to cook we still need to eat and therefore we project that in the year 2015 as a family we will require approximately maybe 450,000 and then when you look at your income maybe your income is coming as a family it could be maybe 600,000 uh, mm -hmm. so that tells you that uh, you'll have maybe savings of uh, 150,000 mm -hmm. and if maybe for ex for instance your income is 400,000 that also tells you that you have a deficit you have to look for other means in which you're going to raise the deficit of 50 thousand shillings so it's nothing complicated you don't have to go to school for you to learn budget you know it's only a question of i have this money these are my needs these are my priorities and this is the way i'm going to allocate the resources that i have mm -hmm. so even at the organizational level i know at radio mini i know even in other institutions and organizations out there they equally have their own budget and you cannot uh, work without a budget and remember this is a, a is a prediction you are forecasting that you are estimating the amount of money that you might uh, you might use so uh, the fact that uh, you have come up with a budget does not necessarily mean that you reuse the actual amount uh, of money that is required so similarly now we also have the national budget and that is where we eagerly wait for june i remember when i was young uh it's like i would knew i everyone knew that it was budget time because even those who do not have radios had their own ways of reasoning to the Minister of Finance, delivering the national budget. Right. So it's a very crucial activity. It's a very important activity. Because like I have a heart, take an example in the county, at the county level. When you're to, and uh, today we might be, we shall be, be discussing uh, about the county budget. Uh, Jackie, it is important that the people understand. You don't just sit down and keep making noise. Mm -hmm. That, you know, we elected a governor. We elected a member of the county assembly. And this road has been pathetic since we elected them there is no electricity around here there is nobody who is um, uh, taking charge of this uh, health center or any other health facility so it is important that you know before you ask your governor when this road would be made you get to understand one the financial or the annual plan or the um, strategic plan of the county vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis the money allocated to whatever is meant for development whatever is allocated for recurrent whatever how much how much is allocated to roads and who which particular route so it is important that we discuss this element of the county um, budget process such that our people may equally understand how governors allocate money how MCAs uh, are used in the same process mm -hmm. so it is important to note that uh, we are supposed to be used we are supposed to take part Ma but I doubt how we have been doing that <laughs> thank you Titus ma'am if we are supposed to take part in the budget making process have we done that? If not, why are we not part of that budgeting process? Is it the timing? Is it that it is too dynamic for us? Do we understand it? Especially for women. Because I'm looking at women and I'm looking at the workload at, at the household level. You will have to ensure that you wash your clothes so you've bought water and, and soap. You'll have to make sure that people eat at the end of the day. It's the same thing that at the county level. Only that at the county, the food that we're having is development. Are we as women, you know, part of this budgeting process or we leave it to Akina Titus, the men? <laughs> Being one of the mothers, mm -hmm. I, I fear and I feel that we mothers have really neglected some of these things, not because we neglect, but because we are not aware. We, are, we, we do not have the knowledge of what we are supposed to do. Because even after elections, nobody tells us that we are supposed to take part mm -hmm. in the budget like our our MCAs, they don't tell us that we are supposed to know whatever money they are given and whatever they are using that money for. And at the same time, I feel that we also are to blame because 
when they are asking for the votes, they tell us that when I go in, I will, I will do this, I will make the roads, I will help you to make sure that your children get to school, get whatever they need. And after that, we do not, we as mothers, do not follow these MCAs to ask them, now that you promised us this, what is happening? Why is it not for the coming? So I feel that we have taken our family duties serious, so seriously that we forget that uh, uh, even going to the uh, county offices or asking our, uh, our elected leaders what they are doing for us is also as important as what we are doing in our homes. Mm -hmm. And I would ask the mothers, we are too busy, uh, such that even when the MCA calls for our baraza, how many of us really attend those barazas? We seem to be too busy. And it is in those barazas that we would learn exactly what is happening. It is in those barazas that we would ask whatever questions that we have. And I feel that we also have some other avenues because we belong to the different chamas, merry-go-rounds, and whatever else. And as those groups, we can organize ourselves as a group, visit the county offices or visit the, the MCA and uh, give him our uh, problems or ask him whatever questions we have. Mm -hmm. So I feel that we are not giving time to the, uh, the work out there, we are only concentrating on our homes. And I would ask mothers, please let us know that it is as important as our homes are to know exactly what our elected members are doing out there. Maybe my husband will let me where we watch him do more. Now I want to hear you talk to me, my dear listener. My studio live number is zero seven three one eight eight nine one eight five. Why are we not involved in the county uh, budgeting process? I'll tell you one scenario that I still can't believe up to now. In Nairobi, this county where we sit, Kidero, Kidero's county, we, but when Nairobi is due to go million, but only fifty people went for uh, uh, one session. I looked at, at that and I felt like there's something that we are not doing or there's something that we're not taking seriously. So the question is, why are we not? If we are, what is it that we are doing? Or we just sit there, listen, and then we talk about it. We say, we're house, to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Talk to me on a Facebook page. Throw a comment on 22669. I want to hear you talk to me. Why are we not? involved in our county budgeting process. If we are involved, then what is it that we've not uh, comprehensively addressed and how should we therefore do it? Remember, this is another budget cycle. Budgeting is a cycle. By 6th of Ju uh, every June, we start a new cycle. We're already in a new cycle, which will, will be ending uh, June next year. Then we start another one. So what is it that we want with our money that we give our leaders? Titus. Yes, Jackie. This county budget it is based on what? Is it based on what Jackie feels or what this governors feel? What MC, what, what directs or, or gives yeah. thinking to this budget? That's very, that's very important mm -hmm. because we cannot talk about this process uh, without talking um, or looking at what the law provides. Mm -hmm. It is important for our people to know this, that it is mandatory for us to participate. And the law is very clear. It has given us the avenues uh, in which we can be able to participate. And therefore, it is based on the Public Finance Management Act mm -hmm. of 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm only using very complicated words because, uh, and because I'm not a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Allow me to say that uh, this is a law that was passed by Parliament in the year 2012. That is before our elections last year. Mm -hmm. And it uh, stipulated, it gave us very many avenues. It, it gave us exactly what was expected expected of the public finance management. How do we manage these uh, finances? Mm -hmm. And especially at the county level. Mm -hmm. And because it provides for very many things, mm -hmm. allow me to note that one of the things that it, it gives clearly is that the person who is in charge at the county level 
for the budget process is the county executive committee member for finance. That is only a technical jargon, meaning the minister for finance at the county level. level. It is important for our people to understand uh, what our friends uh, did yesterday and the day before yesterday. That they told us that we have two levels of government. At the national level, mm -hmm. headed by the president, and he has his cabinet, mm -hmm. the so-called uh, cabinet secretaries. And then uh, at the county level, mm -hmm. we have uh, the governor. And the governor equally has his ministers. Mm -hmm. And because we may not technically call the ministers, they are referred to as the county executive committee members. So there is that one in charge of finance. So he is the one in charge of this process. Number two, it also provides uh, the responsibilities. What is expected of this person? Mm -hmm. Now that you are the one in charge of this process, mm -hmm. what is expected of you? Mm -hmm. And number three, it also provides for what is expected of the public. What should the public do? Um, uh, how should they participate? What is expected of them? And the members of the, I'm talking about the members of the public, not just the MCAs, not the elected leaders, because I think that somewhere we have been going wrong, Jackie. Mm -hmm. That when you have elected a leader, we expect only you to come in with answers. Allow me to say that leaders do not have answer books. They are not answer books. They are not the answers to our. Uh, tribulations to our challenges to what our priorities are so it is important for us to know that the titus just like a, a kenyan citizen has a right to participate and that is why i would also concur with you i was equally dismayed that out of the many millions we have in nairobi county only 50. i can't be, i still can't believe it is it <laughs> enough for county <laughs> <laughs> less than 100 uh, took I, part I still so can't believe it. there are some things that we really needed to do mm. fine it does not take Root. We are not used okay. to this kind of a process, mm -hmm. and I'm sure change is gradual, but it starts with knowledge, okay. and therefore that is why it is important to educate our people mm -hmm. what uh, is expected mm -hmm. of this. Mm -hmm. Are you part of your county budget making process? Talk to me 0731889185. Talk to me on our Facebook page. Throw a comment on 22669. Mom, what are what are the responsibility of, of this county? What are some of the responsibility of the, the county executive committee or uh, members on, on, on of, of of finance? Well, they they have different or I would say they have different duties mm -hmm. but as a committee mm -hmm. they are supposed to I uh, mean after the the uh, do the executive mm -hmm. committee member for finance, mm -hmm. after he has given out the setting to all the entities of the, 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 count of the county, mm -hmm. it is the responsibility of each entity to prioritize mm -hmm. or to shed and schedule whatever they have put in their paper. Then when all those papers from the different entities come back again to the, the, the executive, the treasurer he hands over that one to the treasurer who again has the duty to prepare the the the, the county uh, physical plan mm -hmm. and it is from that one that now we as the public as after it has been established it is set out and again it goes back to the same executive committee member who will now have the authority or have the discretion to let us we as the public to know exactly what is happening we can take a part in the debate but he can only do that by posting some uh, posters so that we know what is going on so that we can participate he can put it into the into the um, gazette and therefore we shall know that there is something like that that is going on and then we shall be able to participate Titus, i want to yeah. ask still the same question that mm. i asked the group that was discussing devolution mm. mommy saying that we need to be notified of you know when to attend citizen participation is very yeah. key mm. and every county should come up with a citizen participation law mm. and regulations mm. the timings of this deliberation of budget is it conducive for me uh, as a citizen of that region? Yeah. Are we given proper timing to know that mm -hmm. on this particular day, because budget has a cycle, this is what is happening? Yeah. Or am I told today and then I'm expected there tomorrow? You know, sometimes they say dictatorship thrive on uh, ignorance, mm -hmm. when people don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the responsibilities 
of uh, the county executive committee member for finance mm -hmm. is to issue a circular mm -hmm. setting out guidelines to be followed by all the county government entities in the budget process mm -hmm. not later than 30th August in each year. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? The one in charge, the minister for finance at the county level, the one who is in charge of the, this process should issue a circular. To me, that is very important. It's key that be, by the end of August, mm -hmm. he should or she should have issued a circular stipulating what should happen. It is important for me to note that um, the process has around eight stages. We shall be looking at them in a while. Yes. But at each stage, it is the responsibility of this person, this Minister for Finance at the county level, to release a circular. And the date is given by, the, um, by this act, Public Finance Management Act. Mm -hmm. Then he or she should release this circular, not just to the government entities. He has another responsibility, or she has another responsibility, of publishing and publicizing. So it is not just enough to give a circular. Mm -hmm. It is important whether you will use posters, mm -hmm. whether you will use radio stations, whether you will use TV, well, depending on what has been budgeted for, all we are saying is that people should be made to know of this specific dates such that i get to know at a particular level our budget process is at this level remember we are saying it's a process so it is neither instant tea nor instant coffee you don't wake up one morning and say oh we have already we have a county budget it's a process and therefore a process takes time so it is important for our members uh, to know that there is that circular we shall be looking at the contents of this circular in a while but for now it is important we get to know that the date is stipulated and unfortunately as you are saying do this person uh publishes maybe he or she might give the excuses that maybe there is no money to go to the radio but sometimes you listen to radio stations you listen you watch television programs and you get different counties talking about a particular activity and a particular activity can be can be given a lot of airtime mm -hmm. that this will be happening either issuing of checks or commissioning of a particular project or something close to that mm -hmm. but you never hear a lot of time saying that the county of nairobi by this date, all members are supposed to give their uh, input on what should be included in the actual, uh, annual plan or in the strategic plan of Nairobi County or Muranga County or Okiabu County. But why do we use a lot of finances? Maybe publishing of an activity that you are going to commission. A festival, probably. A festival, probably. <laughs> Yet, you don't use the same effort and resources you don't allocate the same res similar resources to the process and remember when you uh, include members of the public people own the project mm -hmm. they do not talk about this project belonging to the governor this project belonging to the mca this project belonging to the mp once they are involved in the budget making process they own it and indeed they even help you as the one in charge and also as the governor in making sure that it is realized mm -hmm. so to me that is very very, very important mm -hmm. i want to make a, a, a nice comment here mm -hmm. and every time that we get a coffee boom um, what is it called the what mm -hmm. we get at, yeah. at the bonus eh? yeah the bonus yeah something just goes haywire in the house mm -hmm. And we complain that uh, men have taken money, they've run away, and all that. It's the same thing that happened at the county level. Money came, and the MCSAs were not ready for this, and everything bloomed up. And we never sat down with them, and we learned. But now that we learned, what are we doing? 0731889185. Are they going still to run away with some money and we come back and say, wait, it's 2017, <laughs> mm. what are we doing? Oh, yeah. seven three one eight eight nine one eight five. Mom, what is um, the, uh, the, what is the content of this, uh, you know, budget making circular? What happens where, when? Mom. What is the content of uh, the circular, the budget uh, making process? Maybe if you would allow me, Jackie, right. as mom, okay. maybe um, the, before, yes, yes. Yes. it is important for me to note that, mm -hmm. that apart from maybe issuing this circular, mm -hmm. this circular, which is very important, mm -hmm. um, 
he should he or she should also ensure that members of the public participate. Mm -hmm. I know we have a rule somewhere, we might note it later. It. Number two, mm -hmm. whatever he corrects or she corrects from the people, mm -hmm. he should prepare that paper and then present it to the uh, county executive committee for approval. Mm -hmm. So after whatever has been approved, eh, immediately he gives this to the county executive committee, mm -hmm. then he should publish this mm -hmm. uh, in the Kenya Gazette mm -hmm. and also publish size. Let the people know the estimates and other documents as soon as it's practicable. Mm -hmm. So whatever he has submitted to the county assembly, he should also make sure that it is published so that people and know. The Kenya Gazette. Yes, such that people should also know uh, what was given out. Because you, we, you can you come and use, you can come and ask us, Jackie, imagine you are the governor, you ask, or the person, the minister for finance, mm -hmm. what did you want us to do? I give, we give views. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, you decided to submit what you think is right. Without put disregarding, with total disregard of what the members of the public said. So it is important that you also make it public, that this is what I got from you, and this is what I have submitted to the county yeah. as a brief for approval. Mm -hmm. And by so doing, then you, he or she is supposed to prepare the, uh, prepare and submit a, uh, to a county appropri appropriation bill mm -hmm. to the county as a brief, uh, for the approved of the approved uh, budget. budget yes. And then, as he does that, there are certain documents that he should also accompany that. Uh, to the county as separate but that is for his or her mm -hmm. responsibility i think what is key here is he should or she should ensure that the members of the public participate and whatever they say is taken into consideration mm -hmm. Good. well my dear we say that the cost of living is too high if the cost of living is too high and these are our taxes don't you think therefore it is time that we have to be very awake and follow the budget process or should we leave it to a few technocrats to decide what we want Oh seven three one eight eight nine one eight five is my studio live number. Talk to me on our Facebook page. Throw in a comment on two two six six nine. What are we doing on the our county budgeting process? Do we even understand? If you don't understand, just tell me, Jackie. It's a boy chana na yo. Wachi yao. So wachi yao ni ni bus. Lakini nataka ni siki ya money. County budget. So zile tuna tenge ni za budget ya county. Where we come up cars wa. Kiloji uh, uh, gatuzi ume, Umehusishwa Umekuwa pale Ama ukasema pengine ah, Wacha wafanye Mimi niko hapa nyuma Sita kikujua Sema na misufuri saba tatu moja Nane nane tisa moja nane tano Ikiwa tunafanya bajeti nyumbani Je kwenye county Tunahusika Sufuri saba tatu moja Nane nane tisa moja nane tano Mami you are here Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are the content of uh, this circular that um, Titus is talking about? Now, in that circular, uh, he is supposed to give the schedule for budget preparation, mm -hmm. specifying the key dates by which the various processes are to be completed. Mm -hmm. Uh, he should also give the methodology mm -hmm. for the review and projection of revenues and the expenditures. Mm -hmm. The policy areas and issues mm -hmm. to be taken into consideration mm -hmm. when preparing the budget. He, the, it should also include the procedures to be followed by members of the public who wish to participate in the budget process. Mm -hmm. Titus, what gives life to this to this policy? Because we are saying, as Mum is putting that, uh, you know, it talks about key policy. Uh, areas. What what feeds to that? Is my comment necessary so that if we know that our policy, for instance, is on ECD, we want to improve ECD, yeah. and this is what we want to put on there mm -hmm. in terms of money, does my voice still count even at that high level of now deciding on the policy? Yes. In How? fact, what gives life, mm -hmm. as you have rightly, uh, rightly asked it, mm -hmm. is people's participation. Yes. Remember the key policy areas. Mm -hmm. One, you you need to consider the strategic plan mm -hmm. of that particular county mm -hmm. and who prepares the strategic plan mm -hmm. not the leaders mm -hmm. uh, the what the leaders would do is only to consolidate mm -hmm. they collate and consolidate the views of the people mm -hmm. and then it will also have to be taken into consideration uh you also have to consider the our constitution what does our constitution provide for? Mm -hmm. Number three, it should equally take into consideration, these key policy areas should also take into consideration mm -hmm. on the government policy. Mm -hmm. 
and that is what we would call the government manifesto. Mm -hmm. Take an example, we are now having the Jubilee government in power. Mm -hmm. So our plans should equally be aligned towards more or less the same. Mm -hmm. Because that is exactly what the government, the, the gov we chose the government, we elected the government because we like the manifesto, yes. or rather it is presumed so. Mm -hmm. Because more often than not, is, uh, we vote individuals, mm -hmm. uh, not their manifestos. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and then also, we also need to look at the, our plans as a country. <coughs> our plans as a nation, maybe in like uh, the vision 2030, mm -hmm. So when I am giving my views, at, uh, um, when I am asked to, and this is at the preparation stage of the um, development plan of our county, those things will have to be put into consideration. Key policy areas. And you get these key policy areas on several documents. Mm -hmm. Vision 2030, uh, the government policy, uh, that is uh, the government manifesto, mm -hmm. what the constitution says. And then you domesticate the same to fit your own county. And therefore, what we are saying here is public participation is very, very important. If you don't participate, allow me to give a, just a small analogy. Go ahead. Uh, a certain priest, uh, uh, a certain Catholic priest was uh, posted to a particular area. Mm -hmm. And he realized that people are dying of cholera. A lot. People are dying of cholera a lot. Mm -hmm. And then when he did his uh, investigations, what he would call the needs assessment survey, mm -hmm. he discovered that these guys were not having toilets. Mm -hmm. So they were relieving themselves in the bush mm -hmm. and therefore aggravating the, the issue. Mm -hmm. So he decided, mark my word, he decided to construct a toilet for the members of the public. And then uh, he asked them, now instead of relieving yourself in the bushes, can they be using the toilet? The toilet. And then uh, after, after, after a while, he discovered that people continued die, dying of uh, cholera. And then he asked himself, what is happening? Kube, he only built the shelter. He didn't, he didn't explain how to, what it was meant for. He did not say why he had decided to do that. He did not involve the members of the community. Uh, why? You know, he just constructed a toilet and told them to be using the toilet. Okay. He did not even give any orientation. And he thought that he had really helped those people. On a similar line of thinking, a, count, a governor, an MCA can come up with a wonderful project. But if you have not involved the people, they don't know the benefits. They cannot take good care. Take a look at what is happening, Jackie, on the Karudi Superhighway. You know, it's good uh, the government came up with the Vision 2030. Maybe some of us did not give our, uh, did not give our comments, our input. Mm -hmm. But then we get a superhighway, wonderful. But we still believe that it belongs to the government or it belongs to the Chinese. And that is why many people are vandalizing it. Right. And when you get somebody vandalizing the same, you don't mind. After all, you know, Maria Serikari. Ni Maria Serikari. How does it add value yeah. to you? That is what we think. Yeah. Yes. Precisely. Wow. Every time that we talk about good governance, a lot of things come up. And I say that good governance can never be good governance without citizen participation. And citizen participation will produce good leadership. I have somebody online. Let's see how this is. Good morning. Hello. Hello, morning. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing well. All right. Yeah, I'm Albert. Al All right, Albert, talk to us. Yeah, I'm calling from St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hello. Oh, hello, yes, go ahead. Yes, you. we can hear you. Yeah, uh, I belong to a journalism class, mm -hmm. club, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we were trying to, be, to pay a visit mm -hmm. into your place. So I'm asking if it could be possible so that we can make an arrangement. Could, we, could you call us on, uh, on 0734? Zero seven three four nine seven five four five zero. Hey, sorry, bad one. Zero seven zero seven three four nine seven five four nine seven five four five four five zero. Five four 
5-0. Yes, thank you very much. This is uh, on uh, Air Studio, and we're talking about matters of governance, matters of constitution. Remember, my dear listener, this program is brought to you courtesy of uh, the Kenya Human Rights Commission in conjunction with the TROCARE. And we're saying that we are doing very four very key special programs courtesy again Kenya Human Rights in conjunction with the truck and the question that we are asking yes we have devolution but this devolution there must be money that accompanies it we follow that money are we part of that uh, budgeting process talk to me 0731 889185 Titus yes Chiki okay. Anytime we talk about budget, a lot of things come, you know, and when children go to school, hey, <laughs> mbani inakuangali fireworks. Mwam sindio, watoto wakinda shule. Wazazi siju kama, tunangalia na tulike kama. Ato watu wa biyachara wanajua watoto wa meludi shule. Nkubaya. Masi kwenye county tukiweka miradi, lazima hizo miradi tu ya tekelezi kwa kwa kikisha kwa tumeka senti ya mbazo zitafanya hizo miradi zwezi kuendelezwa vizuri. Mwam. What yes, are the stages yes. of this process? What are the stages of, of you know, budget making? Well, we have eight stages in budget making. Mm. We begin by planning. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the overall estimation of county government revenues and expenditures. Mm -hmm. Number three, we establish financial and economic priorities for mm -hmm. the county. Mm -hmm. In number four, we prepare consolidate and submit uh, itemized budget to county assembly. Mm -hmm. In number five, we enact expenditure and revenue proposals. Mm -hmm. Six, we budget implementation. Mm -hmm. Seven, we budget reporting, accounting and monitoring. And finally, budget evaluation and auditing. Mm -hmm. How much do, do, how much time do we take for planning, for instance, Titus? Yeah. Do do we do we even know what planning means? Because I know in, in a house, in a home, we plan for school fees for sure. We plan yes. for rent for yeah. sure. Yeah. We, we plan for our bus fare. We plan for what we want to eat. Correct. But at the county, do, do we do do I as Wajiko? Is part of that planning, <laughs> Do we, and what are we planning for the county? <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. That is important. Mm -hmm. uh, it is important to to note that at stage one, mm -hmm. uh, this is where we are planning. That's it. I mean, what is planning? That's it. Putting things into order. Mm -hmm. It's only a question of planning. Even sometimes you visit somebody's house. How have you planned this house? Mm -hmm. I mean, it appears disorganized. So planning is only you know is a very simple term. Mm -hmm. Putting things in order. You have your priorities. You have your needs, for example. You have uh, you need these. You need a road. You need a feeder road. You need a market. Mm -hmm. You need a hospital. Mm -hmm. You need a health center. Mm -hmm. You need doctors. You need nurses. You need all these kind of things. All these needs that we have as a county. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, so once we have been able to bring out what our needs are, then we prioritize them. Mm -hmm. Put them into priority. Which one do we require most urgently? Mm -hmm. I mean, take an example, you go to a village and uh, you have a health facility, or rather you don't even have any health facility. Mm -hmm. And the schools around are dated. Which would be the priority? Is it constructing a health facility or constructing a mortuary? It's kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So you might require a mortuary because people die. Yeah, we are all Christians, we know we people die. And if the mortuary, the only mortuary serving you is very far, you need it. But then, according to the priori priorities, would you want first and foremost to construct a, a mortuary where people just, uh, you know, when they die, you take them too? Or mm -hmm. would you want to start with a healthy facility so that you prevent, mm -hmm. you prevent them from maybe dying? Mm -hmm. Is that what I'm saying? That's what, that's what planning is all about. Mm -hmm. So at this change, we are supposed to be involved members of the public mm -hmm. are supposed to be involved in the formulation of the county development plan. Mm -hmm. So this is when you say... That is the first now. That's, that's the that's first very thing. initial, very key. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we are being involved. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it could be a place like... Um, t let me take Radio Omini County. Mm -hmm. Radio Omini County has the news department. That's it. It has the technical department. That's it. It has the presenters department. Mm -hmm. It has the archive department. Mm -hmm. 
So the archive, the person from the archive department comes and says, in our archive, we, you know, in our department, we need this. From the news, we need this. Then together, you know, you know from all these departments now, what are our priorities? Mm -hmm. Such that I know, fine, I really wanted a brand new a, a laptop or iPad so that I can be able to Google and get the news uh, from wherever I will be. But now going by the needs of now the county, I allow the presenters first and foremost to have theirs. Such that we shall also avoid this element of saying it's like the governor is only developing one side of the of the county, yeah, depending yeah. on maybe who the MCA is. Mm -hmm. All our MCA is so weak, he doesn't know how to cut us. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. so you know, <laughs> important that you participate in the uh, development plan, such that you get to know what your county requires mm -hmm. and what your priorities will be. Mm -hmm. So that is at stage one. Number two, uh, apart from the, the, the planning, you know, you're involved in the actual plan. Take an example in the strategic plan, in the long term, you know. Remember, you plan in the long term, mm -hmm. in the medium term, and in the short term. The short term would be six months, eight months, nine months. Uh, maybe mid term would be one year, two years, or three years. And then the long term would be five plus years. It is important you get to know that. Even as we are talking about the national government, we are talking over Vision 2030. That will go beyond Kibaki. In fact, it went beyond him. Mm -hmm. It will go beyond Uhuru. Mm -hmm. It will even go beyond the person who come after Uhuru. Mm -hmm. So it is important we know that this is our document. So it doesn't matter who is the governor. It doesn't matter who is the MCA. This is our plan as a, as a county. So this is a very important point, a, a very important uh, stage of planning. Mm -hmm. Because until you have been able to identify your needs, then you cannot prioritize them and you cannot plan for, for them. Mm -hmm. And it's at this level that I would ask our people uh, even to change the attitude. Mm -hmm. In our community, in our society, there's also people who are enlightened. We have strategic planners. We have people with great knowledge on planning and prioritizing. We have, yes, yet. Everybody has a special gift and a special yet, place. They do not even participate. Mm -hmm. They do not help Wajiko. Wajiko will say, I, I, need, I need more money. That will be Wajiko. Yes. But now, as an elite, I will get that mind from Wajiko. Say, Wajiko needs money. And for sure, I cannot come and dish money to Wajiko in a briefcase. But if I provide electricity, if I provide infrastructure, Wajiko will be able to get his or uh, business and will be able to get money from that. Mm -hmm. You see, so this is a very important point. And as we progress, like now you're talking of 2013 and 2014, you will also participate in the midstream review. That's it. You budgeted important. 2012. Mm -hmm. You budgeted 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened? Can we be able to evaluate that we were able to achieve this? We were not able to achieve this. And what were the reasons? Mm -hmm. So that from there, you again participate in giving ideas and views on how you can progress. Uh, and then you also participate in coming up with a new maybe project for example that might call you know there are those things that come you even when you are budgeting you budget for what you call miscellaneous these are things unforeseen circumstances take an example you can put all things into consideration and when we are doing a strategic plan we also say the assumptions are everything remaining constant, constant but is. suppose there is a drought then Suppose they are frats. Isn't it so much? So you can be able to say now, at this level, dear governor, dear MCA, dear uh, executive member in charge of finance, I would personally propose that we better halt this kind of a project. We first of all address this particular one because it's an urgent, an urgent need. Mm -hmm. So it is important at that stage that uh, we participate in that. You asked whether we know the dates. That is why the secular from the Minister for Finance at the county level is crucial, because there is no specific. He is the one or she is the one in charge, and is able to say we need this cycle of one year. So when I release my secular, I have said that people participation, we are going to consider A, B, C, D, and between the first day of September up to the last day of November, members of the public are invited to make their contributions either through memoranda either through written uh, um, requests or even members participating in public barazas or whatever it is so it is specified it is not it is unique to every county 
So you do, we would not say that it is a standard. Mm. Every county has got its has own, its own, yes. has its own timelines. Yes. So that is why it is important that as a member of the public, I need to ask my MCA. I need to ask, apart from asking about the roads, right now I should be asking him where is the Sakura. He knows where the circular is. So he should, he should give me that circular and look at it. Oh, yes. Right now, <laughs> he should give me the circular so that I know the timelines. But what are, have our people been doing, Jackie? Then, <laughs> that is what Irongo Maina is saying here. Good morning, Irongo Maina. Irongo is saying, ah, I play my usual role of going to the county hall to rubber stamp what the uh, local politician wants to do with the money, including sponsoring him, in sponsoring him to attend a roadside bash in a far off country. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, Ma, Maga, uh, Maguri Mkonu is saying Tukupa Moja, David Kimani is saying Jackie Asante Sana, and then I'm having uh, Lispa, we're saying thank you for the discussion, Matthew Machibwa, African, you're saying Asante Sana for the discussion, Musa Musafa, you're saying Asante Sana for the discussion. And then Festo Majani is saying Jackie Tukupa Moja Sana. My studio live number is 0731. Eight eight nine one eight five. You said you are going to go to the city. 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 You are going to go no, when we come to the second stage, mm -hmm. where we are having the overall estimation of the county government mm -hmm. revenues mm -hmm. and expenditures, it is the work of the, the um, executive, what, what um, um, I tend to forget these names. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes they're too the long. The county, the the county executive the committee. The county executive <laughs> uh, there's such a mouthful, yes. For finance <laughs> yes. is the one who collects all that information, mm -hmm. puts it down into a paper, mm -hmm. and then hands it over to the treasurer. It is the, the work of the treasurer now to write whatever is needed by the whole county mm -hmm. and the the i mean the money needed mm -hmm. the 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 features that are in that uh, uh, budget and then he makes sure mm -hmm. that he again sends it back to the finance minister mm -hmm. so that he gives it to the county executive committee mm -hmm. it goes through it it goes through and improves i mean approves mm -hmm. or if there are anything they feel that they should uh, uh, um, correct or do anything to them mm -hmm. they do it mm -hmm. and then it is passed to the mcas who are supposed to be the county assembly it is the county assembly now to debate over the whole issue and we are told they are only given up to about 14 days to and, look at it uh, to look at it mm -hmm. and then it is during that time that we the public have also been given a chance to see whatever the MCAs are debating upon so that we can chip in our uh, uh, information. So it is very sad that even uh, since we got the, the county assembly members, mm -hmm. Uh, so few of us, or I would say me being one of them, or one of those mm -hmm. who have not even seen those uh, uh, proposals, and therefore we have not participated and we do not know exactly what happens. But that is another stage where the public is supposed to be going together with the MCAs so that they can know what the MCAs are debating upon, what the, the, the member for finance has passed on so that it can be debated upon. And that is exactly what we are supposed to be to do. But do we do it? No. Simply because the information does not reach us. It's, I do not know whether it is our mistake or the mistake of our leaders. There we, we shall know as we go on. 
There is a school of thought that sometimes contradicts. They say ignorance is bliss because that means it will dis you will not disturb anything. Mm -hmm. And another one says ignorance has no defense. Mm -hmm. So which side of the coin are you? <laughs> Ignorance can either be bliss because you do not want to disturb the status quo. You yeah. do not want to disturb and be seen like you're really pushing this politician and then you're earmarked. Yeah. Or ignorance has no defense. So which side are you? What are we bequeathing our children? Because tomorrow we might not be there, but our children will be in that county. What are we bequeathing them in terms of development? Titus, well, yeah. let's take us through the last stage, therefore. Uh, well, I will only want to to look just at the stage three, mm -hmm. because mainly stage four mm -hmm. is exclu uh, exclusively yes. the um, county executive committee affair. Mm -hmm. That uh, in stage three, we need to access and assess the county budget review and outlook paper. Uh, that is exactly what Mama has said. That's it. That it has been submitted to the county assembly. Mm -hmm. Then it comes back to the person in charge. That is the county executive member for finance, the minister for finance. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I need uh, to access it mm -hmm. and then also assess it. Mm -hmm. So that at least I also get to know exactly what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And then, if there were in this paper also, we expect that uh, maybe there are some things that were, um, were not met in the other financial or the planning year. So it is important that at this level I interrogate, I ask the person in charge or what could have happened. So um, I seek clarification and exactly uh, ask ourselves, has it, whatever was not met, has it been included in the new cycle of of planning and budgeting. Mm -hmm. So it is important for me to do uh, to do that at that level. Mm -hmm. Then after stage three is implementation. We have uh, four other stages, but I'm sure for us to look at these uh, stages exhaustively, mm -hmm. uh, I think we can be able to, to have this for our uh, tomorrow's or Tuesday's, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tuesday's program. Yes. But for now, suffice it to say that so far, even in the first, second and third stages, there are several challenges. And they are also affecting even these other stages. That's it. That's that it. one of them being lack of law. Mm -hmm. There is no law in our country that is governing at least the minimum public participation requirement. Mm -hmm. It only states members of the public should be involved. Mm -hmm. That is what the Act provides for. Mm -hmm. That is the Public Finance Management Act 2012. Mm -hmm. But right. then how? You know, it does not say that you can. You know, you need to give them seven days. You need to give members of the public. Uh, uh, two weeks. You need to give the members of the public a whole month. It's not clear. And that is why some people would do, you know, people driving on ignorance. They would come and say, tomorrow, to make to baraza na MCA, iri to changia ila mamba tunataka katika hiki kijijijetu. I love to normalize ya natoa kitu. And then, people are busy. I mean, mama anangalia, nitaenda kwa shaba, mama anangalia, nitaenda kwa biashara yangu, nitaenda kwa angalia majani chai ya makahawa, ama nitaenda kusema ende ni tu nyinyi museme mtatusikia nyinyi mtu wakilishe yeah yeah nyinyi mtu wakilishe so i think that, that that's a big hiccup that is something that uh, requires to be uh, to be done uh, so it, it is coming back on board and really really making me happy remember yes. my dear listen, our time is really up but we have to uh, do one more thing irongo mine is saying once yeah. again that the future of wanjiko is very bleak Mm -hmm. Politicians go to Great Rift Valley <laughs> Lodge or Kilifi <laughs> Leisure Resort or Mount Kenya Safari Club. Yeah. These are very big hotels, by the way. Yes, to prioritize yeah. what is best for them. Uh, then Wanjiko is invited to the local county hall and is offered Nusumkat Nafanta uh, to pass the county budget. Desperate times these are. Remember, hmm. Mahatma Gandhi said. Yes. The Indian guru. The Indian guru yes. said that the only power the poor and the marginalized have is the power of numbers. You are over 1,000, you are over 2,000 in a ward, and you elected to only one MCA. I think until we change our attitude, we start seeing these leaders as our house helps. Mm -hmm. as our servants, not as our bosses, mm -hmm. then we might not go very far. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Ma'am, very quick, <coughs> to say, to mention to what are the challenges of, of this budget making process? Because our times is really up and we really need to get out of the studio for other programming. What are the challenges of county budgeting process? Well, I would say that the, the challenges are first a lack of proper information to whoever is supposed to take, uh, I mean, to take part mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. I would also say that there is a lack of information, and this one I would refer perhaps to the central government because they only give civic education when we are having uh, elections. But when we need to know about this, uh, uh, our county government, this is a new thing to us. So they need to give us civic education so that we can understand what what we are supposed to do within the county government. So I feel the, the, the challenge mostly is ignorance. Mm -hmm. And like I said, which side of the ignorance do you want to ride on? Or the bleed side or it has no defense? The decision is ours to make. Titans, I'm giving you the uh, you know the last chance. You can give us the last comment <laughs> and you give us your final remark. Then, mom, najua kwa mom lazima baraka itoke. Mom data kwa mshu kutufungia tupe the last. I'm not sure. Lagu ni kusema ya kwamba, just like it as we have said, mm -hmm. uh, people are not aware of what is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, members of the public are not aware of these laws and circulars that we have talked about, mm -hmm. and was still a negative attitude. Mm -hmm. So my pass, uh, my closing remark, mm -hmm. my pa parting shot, mm -hmm. is that as members of this country, we have a wonderful document in the constitution, mm -hmm. and given time, we are going to realize not even the sky shall be the remit for what we can be able to. Mm -hmm. But the document alone cannot work. Let us change our attitude. Let us start looking at our leaders, the people we have elected as our servants, mm -hmm. not our bosses. Mm -hmm. Let us also, we are calling upon the planning gurus, mm -hmm. all the guys with a lot of knowledge. Let us change our attitude and we sacrifice our time and knowledge for the common good. Mm -hmm. It goes, it, that is a legacy. It does not matter you living in a boardroom, you sitting in a boardroom and saying that the MCs are not doing, members of parliament are not doing, the governor is not doing, what are you doing so that we can improve our country? Mm -hmm. Kindly, let us change our attitude. Mm -hmm. Mom, give us the final comment and the closing remarks. Okay. Oh, what I would say, I would ask my fellow mothers, because even those who are going to the council to take a soda and uh, have bread, they are all men. I would kindly ask our mothers, when anything of this nature is, comes to your ears, let your neighbor, the mother, another mother know whatever is happening. And if you are too busy, why don't you get together, the three of us, and we say you and you will go, me because I have this urgent uh, thing, I will not go. So if you go, say this and that. You give your own ideas to them, those who are going. Mm -hmm. But make sure that whatever is called for, mm -hmm. we participate. That is what I would like to, I uh, mean, especially to our dear mothers. Mm -hmm. Don't be too busy. Just try and uh, go and have the lectures. At the same time, mm -hmm. I would like to tell the mothers, please, even if you do not have, I know mothers do not have money, but at least you have something, something small. Mm -hmm. Why don't you call these people who have the knowledge or who are, I mean, who know whatever happens into your groups, your merry-go-rounds, mm -hmm. so that they can really give you a, a rough picture of what you are supposed to do and what you are supposed to, how you are supposed to deal with your elected members. Mm. And with that, I hope if we do all that, uh, the Lord will come to our side and we shall be elite and we shall take uh, uh, whatever responsibilities we are supposed to take. Mm. And at the same time, we shall know what administration is, we shall know what governance is, and next time, when we come to electing leaders, we shall not object on our mothers and only go to men. I do not know why we do it and I will ask you mothers, please please, check on that one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't know whether we just respect the men just too much. <laughs> I want to finish with one final comment here coming from my Irongo Titus. He says, Mahatma Gandhi was wrong. Ten millionaires have more power than ten, pow <laughs> ten million paupers. 
<laughs> All right. So long as it doesn't rob our dignity, we have to stand up high. Let us not call it on poverty because we can change the destiny of our country. We can change the destiny of our county if we want so. All we need to do is pay and give an extra year and follow up on what is happening. It is small uh, doses that will make the final one. Whatever we bequeath our, our children, it will be what we are doing today. Thank you. Thank you very much for being there. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Remember this program is courtesy of Kenya Human Rights in conjunction with the Troki and this is a very special program on Mdahalo and we say Asante sana, ma'am. Asante sana, tumeshukuru. Taitas Wairati, tunasema thank you very much. Karibu sana. For you, our listener out there, I do not take it for granted. Asante sana. God bless you abundantly wherever you are. Carry that mantle everywhere you go. Citizen participation is key and the constitution gives you power. Now, watch and I love it. I love it. Just listen to it. I love it. It takes me home all the way to Nyalgunga. Cheers. Have a good day.